Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Chris. And this is Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2019. Mm-hmm. We're getting a late start this season, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, that's partly our fault. We've been a little bit down, I'm not going to lie. We found out our haunted house has to be canceled this season because the city of New Orleans decided to completely tear up our road. Yay. So it's made it a little difficult to get into the Halloween and haunty spirit, but we're going to give it the old college try for you guys. That's right, we're giving the effort, and part of that is we're going to be doing the haunt reviews that we usually do this time of year. And first up is... New Orleans Nightmare. That's right, folks. All right, New Orleans Nightmare in the old house of shock. I say that even though it's been three years right. since they took the location <laughs> over. 2017 was their first year. This is 2019. Math. It's a thing. It is. Um, I've got to say, uh, 27, this is like, I think, the big year for New Orleans Nightmare in some ways in terms of coming into their own. Yeah. 2017, they kind of like opened at the last minute. It was basically um, House of Shock with the, the marketing for New Orleans Nightmare. Right, and although they had tried to remove a lot of the elements, it, did, it didn't feel different. Yeah, it didn't it, feel it very different. It felt very same. And it answered the question, what happens if you take away the stage show from the House of Shock? You've got a haunted house. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, but just a haunted house. Yeah. 2018, they made some significant changes. They tried to make it more branded their own but didn't really build or change as much in the haunt, probably as much as they would have liked. Right. Um, this was the year they made major changes in their style. Mm-hmm. And the biggest change was the first, I would say, third of the haunt was, to our memory, completely new. It was a hotel sequence. Yeah, which, yeah, and I think that they've had the structure there. Yeah, um, I don't think they changed much in the structure, like you said. Right, but definitely it was a new experience because where that has been traditionally like a museum style walkthrough, yeah. this had actors. Yeah, it had act- well, previous, like back in the House of Shock days, it was a- originally um, like, I think it was Seaman Skungi's Bordello of Freaks or something like that. I think it might yeah. be exactly it, um, which was an interesting idea that did not really work because mm-hmm. it was very light on scares. Here they've recalibrated, they've redesigned it, they've made it very scare oriented. Right. And they're going for more of the classic distract and startle, boo gotcha. You know, we're gonna you know, we're gonna have you look and where we want you to look and then we're going to nail you. Right. And it's surprisingly effective and surprisingly good. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was very interesting and it kinda clashed a little bit with like the second third <laughs> of right. it which was more of the traditional House of Shock. It was a lot of those old sets, a lot of those old scares, which the first third is more classic distract scartle, hard scares, trying to get people to right. scream. The second third is more of the House of Shock style, in which is we're going to put you in disturbing scenarios with disturbing people. Yeah, now we are forgetting the entire 3D part. Oh, God. Well, which that, is still there. That it was, hasn't changed. That was me trying so, to will it away. There you go. <laughs> That so that's to... that's the review of that. If if you've seen the review of the 3D part, just rewatch. Yeah, that. that's true. It's Put the that hotel 3D here. part, <laughs> traditional House of Shock. Uh-huh. I find the 3D part very forgettable personally. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, they do it better than a lot of 3D attractions do because the paint is more fresh, the 3D effects more crisp even now. Right. But honestly, it's definitely a it's definitely a 3D haunt, not a haunt that happens to be 3D. Right. Exactly. And that shows and makes it, to my mind, less effective from a scare perspective. Is it cool? Yeah. Is it interesting? Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah. Um, I will warn you if you have any mobility issues, Right. watch out for that part. Maybe inquire about it because there are some sliding floors. There are some bibbles and bobbles, some narrow hallways, some things like that. Also, um, visual yes. limitations. Visual, if you're... Yeah, they, they were definitely a little more heavy, and this is not just in that part, but elsewhere. They were definitely more heavy on the strobes than I remember them being. Yeah. This may be just my poor recollection kicking in. I am getting older. <laughs> I mean, so it's possible my memory Happens every year. My memory's gone to crap, folks. I'm not going to lie. Um, but they were more reliant on strobes than previously. But that being said, I didn't feel like it was overly so. It didn't feel like there was... I, I don't remember any particular sequence where it was like, oh, God, I can't take it. Right. It was just, oh, yeah, they're more strobes. So if you are strobe photosensitive, you might want to watch out for that as well. Um, there was also an ending sequence which took you through a church. 
Right. Um, that was largely new to my recollection. There were parts of it yeah. that I recall from being around last year, but there were also significant new parts. So it's kind of interesting. You have the newer stuff bookending um, this haunt. Right, which makes it feel entirely new, honestly. Yeah, and it makes that middle part, the classic House of Shock part, A, it's still tonally a, a shift, mm -hmm. but it's more forgettable in a right. weird way because it, it is the meat of the sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, I will say there were two pentagrams under the second clown in the 3D section. <laughs> I was told to observe that, and unfortunately, I did not get to speak with the individual who asked me to look right. afterwards, so this is my notification. <laughs> yes, they knew you would find them all. Because I am an expert at finding pentagrams, apparently, is right. what I've learned in all this. Yeah, and there was also <laughs> one offensive character to me. Um, yeah. And... That's Huh? That's someone playing a terrorist role. Right, playing a terrorist role, but it's just a person in a room. It's not a yeah, and scare. It's kind of weird because it it's, didn't need to be there. It was Right, it, it's a weird transition hallway. And it, it's kind of like, this is something I would expect from the House of Shock. The House of Shock was trying right. to be offensive, was trying to needle at those things. Mm -hmm. and, and okay, that's in character for the House of Shock. This is supposed to be a more family friendly, but still very scary thing. Mm -hmm. It seemed out of place. It, it, yeah. it, it just seemed out of sorts. It was like, oh, really? That that that. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah Cause they had them there last year too, but but I don't think I called it out. Yeah, um, it, I don't know. It just <laughs> it, it feels like it doesn't belong. Like in the classic right. house. This is this is definitely a playbook <laughs> page from the House of Shocks playbook, not New Orleans Nightmare. And that's one of the things. The whole theme this year to me is this becoming New Orleans Nightmare, Thirteenth mm -hmm. Floor's own attraction. Right. This becoming their vision mm -hmm. rather than House of Shock's vision. And we've seen like a lot of that House of Shock vision, that House of Shock style is leaving. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing more and more of what 13th Floor and what New Orleans Nightmare through Proxy is going to be about. Um, all in all, it, the changes felt significant. I was concerned going into it that we were going to be disappointed. I don't remember exactly why in hindsight. Um, maybe because we went to the Christmas show. Yeah, maybe because we went to the Christmas show. Yeah. But all in all, I was actually very pleased with it, especially considering that we were able to get the deep discounts on the tickets. My advice is for next year, uh, get on the email newsletter list, pay attention. There is usually a $13 sale that lasts 13 minutes. Right. Do that. It is great. We do that every year. And that basically guarantees we keep coming back to New Orleans Nightmare and we keep doing these reviews. Yeah. So yeah, all in all, I mean, it, it maybe it didn't knock my socks off per se. No, but we left happy. We left happy. We left saying good things, and all in all, it was a good experience. And it's nice to see this becoming its own haunt now. Right. It's getting out of the shadow of uh, House of Shock a little bit. It is. And one other quick thing is they do have a new attraction. We did not do yes. it. The, the wait was just too long for they, us that they night. Have, they have a blackout attraction. I heard it described right. a couple of different ways. We were curious but not super interested in it because we're not a big fan of blackout haunts personally. Right. But we did get in line to do it and apparently you can only have one group in at a time or at least this way where they were doing it when we were there. Right. And it was taking for freaking ever despite there not being much of a line. So we just bailed because we unfortunately had other things to do that night. Right, but it is there if you were interested. Yeah. And they also your do bag. Have the, the same three mini escape rooms. Yes. So you can do those as well. But yeah, all in all, if you've been looking for a New Orleans nightmare to establish its own identity at this location, mm -hmm. this is a good year to consider going. It felt different, especially in the beginning and the end. It felt like they were finding their voice and right. their style of haunting. Yeah. And all in all, I like what I'm seeing out of these guys. I really do think these they, they, there's a lot of creativity and a lot of a lot of talent going into this haunt, and I'm looking forward to next year now. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Hall Haunt Review 2019 for New Orleans Nightmare. We'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs>